so Star Trek, it's your own show now. Like, how do you got, how did you approach that as writers and now showrunners and like one step at a time, <laughs> one tiny step at a time. We, um, it's been a huge journey. I mean, it's been a journey that began for us uh, in February of 2016. So, you know, just really putting just one foot in front of the other. A, a journey like this, you, you, it, it's, it's not a sprint. And it's also for us, like, we had the benefit of having partners Nikita and Alex, where, you know, it, like, we learned very early on and kind of one of the things that we show. Star Trek has lasted for so long, it's beloved by so many people, it really belongs to everybody. And it takes a village to do this show, and that's the way it should be. So, I mean, we all share the joy of the journey, and, and, and it's, 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 the work is a blessing, and we're having a great time. And yeah, we did not do this one alone. Uh, and we're not done. <laughs> we're not done. We've got a lot more to do. Yeah. So tonight is an exciting thing for us, um, you know, because it has been such a, a long, a long project sort of percolating. But we're excited to get it out there as well. Do you guys feel some freedom with the timeline of this? Because this takes place before all the other Star Treks. That you can kind of play with it and, and get your own. Well, we're actually in between Enterprise and the original oh, series. Right. So, um, you know, sometimes people would feel like, perhaps, like, oh, we're, we're totally boxed in. But there's something I feel like for a lot of writers and the writers in our staff, we like those parameters because it sort of challenges you in a different way and problem solve in a different way. And so things that could have been hurdles actually became opportunities. Opportunities and things to sort of dig into or, or dig out and, and explore further or um you know, a lot of times in the room there would be something that we would feel like we ran up against, and it would, it would end up being we ran up against something because we didn't want to deviate from the canon on it or whatever. But other times it's like, oh, well, that's interesting. What an interesting, you know, situation. What an interesting, because that's there and this person's coming along. How do we make a story out of that? So it's actually kind of cool. And then is there any crossover from any of the existing shows? I would say watch. Yeah, there may be a little bit here and there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then the thing looking a little different in this version. What went into the thinking for that? Well, that actually began the redesign of the Klingons, actually initiated with Brian Fuller, one of the creators of the show, and who was with us early on in the process. And his big, um, one of his many contributions to the show would be the redesign of the Klingons. So he and Devil Page and Glenn Hetrick all uh, worked on that redesign. It was important for Brian to sort of establish them in a new light, in a new way tried to dimensionalize them a little bit more, tried to establish them as something more than just sort of the thugs of the galaxy. And so with that new attitude, needed to sort of come a new room. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke to Jeff. Jeff was telling me about the music that he used for them. Yeah. So. Oh, his music's the new one. You guys, you guys have a real murderer's row on the show. We're trying. As long as we don't murder each other. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 